Hello guys, Austin G here, back with another video, and today we are going to be drawing a soldier, as you probably know from the title. And, yeah, let's get right into it. Okay guys, the first step to drawing the soldier is this time um, we're going to draw it more realistic, kind of like the Batman, I'll tell you how to draw, a little bit less like um, Mandalorian and the Joker. So yeah, we're going to start like around here, we're just going to draw a circle, or if it's more like an oval it's fine, just slightly sketch something like that. No, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, I think. Mine's more kind of like an oval, but it's fine. Just something like that to get started. Then we're gonna draw a line, a line, down from the circle. Two short lines, I think I'm gonna make mine a little bit longer, maybe. Yeah, about that long. Just, it doesn't matter if they come down from like the same point, just make sure they're about the same distance like from here to here. Then you're gonna go in, then go in. This is the jaw, just like the Batman. And then we're gonna draw his neck in two stubby lines. And then, we're going to draw the shoulders go out just a little bit. And now this is what I like to do just to get a feet, like just to see how I want the arms is if I want, so I can like change up the pose, but like from here, I draw like a circle about where like one part of the arm is, and then another circle where the other part is. And he's going to be saluting so we're gonna have his arm kind of like that, and then I'm just gonna draw a little circle here for his hand. And then I'm just gonna draw a line like about here. Not a little small of a waist, so like I'm gonna draw his body about there. Then about here. This arm I'm gonna go out just like that. Now here I'll wait a little bit so you guys can catch up. Now what we're going to do is he has his other hand behind his back. So we got this part of the arm and this part of the arm. It goes kind of behind his back. So I don't think I actually need to draw like the circles for that one. I can just, you can just pretty much do this. Since you're not really going to be seeing much of the arm, you can do this. We're going to come out a little bit and go up but don't connect it with his shoulders. Okay? Because now we're gonna go from the shoulder back around with his arm like that for him holding it behind his back. Now what I'm gonna do, you guys don't have to do this if you don't want, but I'm just gonna go kind of around this arm just exactly kind of how I want it to be. I'm not gonna do the hand though, cause we're gonna get to that part a little bit after. And we're gonna go up, and just like that. Just so I can see how I want the arm for, for when we start adding more of like the details. Now for the legs, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna go in from here to his like waist. Then about here, I'm gonna draw another circle. Another circle. No, I, I think those legs are a teeny bit too tall. Make them about maybe like a little bit bigger than his arms. Somewhere like that. And that. 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 Then this foot we're going to have kind of like coming down like this. And this foot out like this. No. I think I'm going to move this leg over a little bit, just so I can connect it with the side easier. You know, I'm 
want to make this leather a little bit bigger. Let's see, about how do I want it? That and that maybe. Yeah, that seems about right. And then we're going to go like this, just around the legs. Okay. I'll wait a little bit. I feel like I'm going pretty fast. And then from this side, we're going to go down and down. Maybe come in like a little bit. But then we're just going to keep going down until you get to the foot. And you're just going to go in kind of like that. Now we'll go to the other leg. Again, come in a little bit, but then keep on going. Come in, and come in. For this leg, we're going to go out. For this foot, I mean. We're going to go out, out, and then come right back in. Sharp. And then for this one, we're going to go just like that, and around. Kind of make it curve, just like that. And then just like that. Now you can erase all of our circles we made to draw the arms and legs and all that stuff. Now we're gonna get into finer detail. So I'm going to start with this hand, I think which is going like here how do i show you like um this kind of like on his forehead it's hard to do it with my arm twisted around like that so from the top we're gonna go around and come down just like that and we got the thumb coming right here then we're gonna kind of do that little curl thing but you can't see much of it and then we're gonna draw a straight line out and from behind here straight line out and curve it and behind that it kind of overlaps now we can erase the circle inside of his head and then just maybe one more time just to Make the line look smooth, just like that. Now he's going to be wearing a helmet. So I'm gonna kind of sketch out where I want that to be. Kind of around maybe. If this is the center of the head, this is the mouth, this is the nose, this is the eyes, somewhere around there. I'm gonna want the helmet to curve around right here. We're just gonna go around and round it up there. Round it up there. Then we're gonna finish up adding more of the fine details to the head. And if you want to, you can add a little shading to the helmet. Maybe some cross hatching. Cross hatching. So you kind of just do crosses for shading. Kind of just like, this is the helmet, the circle there. You go like this would be the cross hatching. So it's kind of kind of like checkering. Right there, I did it. I mean, you can't see the checkers that well, but it looks good for when you do shading. And then for the eyes, we're gonna do two kind of all the pointier ovals, kind of like that. Also in the comments. Tell me if I should do like a one color challenge. My birthday's coming up so I could do a birthday only supply challenge. Um, I'm probably gonna do like a video where I do Star Wars. So tell me if you wanna do like, if you wanna see the Star Wars one first. Um, like a one color only, what color do you want me to do? So yeah, then we're gonna draw these, his pupils. Not color them in, cause they're going to be blue when we color them in later. Kinda like that. And then we got his nose. Noses have always been pretty hard for me. Under, like, this is how I usually do them when I'm looking at him straight on. 
and around. And just a little slit. You know, I'm gonna make that more less of a J. And then I just like that and a line. And maybe you can see a little bit of it over here. And then for the mouth, he's gonna be kind of stern. He is a soldier ready for action. And I'm just gonna draw a little bottom side of the lip. Like that. Now for the jacket, we're gonna draw kind of like an upside down V, except this one goes farther down on both of the sides. And if you want to, you can you can add some shading to the head. I think I'm gonna add some shading under his helmet. And from here, we're gonna, well, I'm gonna start with this one. We kind of like loop around the neck. Loop around, and then loop around, like that. And then this, you go down to about here. Then you're gonna come up. Maybe it comes out a little bit, but then it just presses back against the body. Kind of like that, and then that. Now I'm gonna give him a little patch that says US, cause, well, he works, this guy will be for the US. If you want him to be for Germany, you can write Germany, French, French, or whatever you want. But I'm just gonna do US, just like that. And then he's gotta have sleeves. He's not wearing like a onesie. This thing is like a onesie on his hands. So we're just gonna draw him like that. Kinda tight, but bring it out a little bit. Just like that. Now you got his pants. You can draw a little line here. Maybe they go out a little bit. And then around here, they're gonna tuck into his boot. So I'm gonna erase this section here. So this is where his boot starts and his pants ends. So I'm gonna draw a line like this. Kind of curving around a leg, but going like that into it. And then his pants are kind of scrunched up into his boots, so it's kind of like, kind of like, just puff it out a little bit when you get close to his boot. And maybe draw some like wrinkle lines. Now we're going to do that same thing to this boot. We're on the same spot. And puff it out. Puff it out. Just like that. And then go up. Wrinkle lines again. Erase that leg line. Erase that leg line. And there you go. Time to get into finer detail on the boot. Okay. And then... So you're gonna go like that, that, and make it kind of like a V with flat, and finish it up. And for this one, since you're looking at it for kind of sideways, I'm gonna just draw it like this. Draw it like this, going in, and like that. Just so I can get like the, kind of the laces right. And then you can race this half so it's not like um, the thing's falling off. And then got this one. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's color. Actually, we got to get my shirt right like that. And so, yeah, let's color. This time, I'm going to tell you how to color. We're gonna start out. I'm, it doesn't matter what green you pick, but I'm gonna pick this kind of like grass, grass swampy green for it, cause usually they try and blend in. I'm gonna color his coat that color. Now I asked for, I asked for alcohol-based markers, so I, for my birthday, and I might get them, so I probably am going to do like a tutorial on how to use those. 
I mean, just because I made a tutorial does not mean you have to get them. Because, I mean, they do cost a fortune. I mean, since they're, like, really useful and good. So, obviously, you don't have to get them. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use them. May, I might do one for people who might already have them. And if you might want to get them, I get. I might get the Ohuhu markers. So, yeah, now I'm going to find... Let's see, do I have a darker green? I'm going to grab... Let's see, I don't have a darker green. So, for me, I'm going to grab my gray. But it would be more ideal, a darker green. Or a, maybe, like, you could also use a black. I'm just going to get some shading up here. Right here, just get some shade in, maybe like right here where his arm goes under some. So I'm gonna color the flipped over part gray. And his helmet is also going to be gray. So might as well do it while I have the gray out, right? And you can get the gray out, so I'll wait a little bit after this since I did already have the gray out. Okay, now I'm going to use my black for like the inside shirt part. And press a little bit harder for like that collar part we did of the shirt. Just like that. Now I'm gonna get out the brown for the boots, I'm gonna color that in. And for the brown, for the shading, there's not much shading on the boot, so you can really just kind of just press a little bit harder around the edges. So we're gonna go like this, and then maybe press a little bit harder around the edges, kind of for like a little bit of shading. Then just lightly go over it, let you go over for the laces. And now, I do have a good variety of blues, well, two. But I like the blues for the pants. So I'm gonna get my light blue. If you have a dark blue and like a, re a really dark blue, I would use that. But since I have a light blue and this like navy, I'm gonna do that. I don't know why, but this color just looks so cool to me. Not, I don't know why. So I'm going to use like this one, and then I'm going to use the navy. Yeah, this color is like, look at that. Look at that. Let me see what the light. Let's see. The color I can't get like the full color in it with like the, how the lighting is. But yeah, so good. If you don't have like a dark and darker, you can get your, like a sky blue. Then I'm using like a darker blue, and then for shading, this, it's really good for shading on like the pants. It just adds more to your picture in my opinion. So I'm gonna go over kind of like this, just around all the edges, maybe some in the middle too, and around the top, because his shirt might be casting a little shadow. I think it just makes the legs look pretty, which, I don't know why, to me it just adds a lot of pop. Oh yeah, so I keep the blue out. And we're gonna color his eyes blue. Blue. Now, for the last part, we're going to color in the face. So, I'm gonna grab... Do I have a skin tone in here? I do not. Give me one second to find a skin tone. I'll let you guys catch up if you need to. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna use these two as my skin tone. I'm gonna use peach and yellow or orchard or something. So I'm gonna use pink. It's gonna be like a base, but 
base color, but I'm not going to use too much of it because I think it just looks too, like, just, I don't know. I just think it looks too perfect or something. I don't know how to explain it. I just don't think it looks that good. You might think it looks good. You can just press harder with the peach. But I'm going to go over it with my yellow orange. It's probably not called the same thing for you guys. But, yeah, I'm going to do, like, a lot of shading and stuff with that. And then, there you go. So, you got a signature. I did, so I'm going to sign it. There you go. And what is the date? I don't even know the date. I'm so dumb. Yeah, you guys should put the date just so you know when you make your drawings. I, I'm going to find the date probably after the video. But... Yeah, there's the soldier. I think, let's see, so, yeah, there you go, I'm not done that, and there you have it, the how to draw soldier, oops, I hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, comment what you want me to do next. Have an amazing day. Draw a lot. Bye.